trying to attack the Lurkers. Here's another SCV to repair this bunker. It's gonna get taken down. There we go. Finally, we have a tank. Um, only one, but it's it's good enough. Trying to pick off these lurkers as they come any closer, but it's not. Well, yeah, he's just got his scans now. He's got four scans about. Yeah, thereabouts. Three scans. Starport is almost done. It's gonna be a while before these science vessels come in here now. Victory's got him nicely, nicely contained. Gonna go down now. Gonna take this one down. No! Not even going to do that. Gonna take this one down here. With the scans he has. Watch out for the. There we go. Gonna finally push back the locust a little bit. But so far, he still has no gas. He's on one gas right now. Building a lot of marines. There we go. Siege tech finally researching a second tank. Here comes the science facility and the control tower. And this siege tank now finally. Very slowly pushing him back, pushing victory back. A second bunker here now, but yeah, he's he's very much contained, and victory is just uh, is allowed to slowly but certainly. There we go. We have the queen's nest gonna go to hive, and build up in. Um, now he's gonna be able to back off. Well, gonna have to back off, build up in um, an upgrades. There we go. So finally, a moment's peace for Janon. Slowly being able to break this. Got to push in now. Maybe have scanned that a little bit too soon. Now we're going to kill two of the lurkers. And that's it. In the meantime, victory um, doesn't really have that big of an army. They're, well, they're 10 supply apart, which for the Zerg is kind of bad. Ah, pardon. <clears throat> we'll see. So he's got these, the the, uh, the ramps here, the the higher ridges he's got contained. So he's a bit split, but he could turn that into a flank if Janon tries to get out. But all he wants right now is that, that second gas. And establish a little bit of map control for himself. Irradiate's almost done. It's going to help him with this. There we go. Drone's actually going... Whoa. Pause. Coming from pop-up. Huh? Coming from victory. There we go. Oh, explosion's going in. So this little zergling is going to get wiped away. So that was a little bit of a pause in the game there. Somebody's calling my name on IRC. So anyway. Three bays against two. Which isn't... A complete disaster. Here we go. We've got a dropship now incoming. Try and get some of that economic advantage back. Yeah, it's going to go straight in here. So, there we go. This let's see if he's actually going to get pretty far. Considering there are four lurkers here. Lurkers are going to reposition themselves just because of that. There we go. The size facility is lifting off. And we have... Let's see. Yeah, we have the first time. There we go. Dropship. Two Lurkers here, one sunken colony, but way in the wrong position. Lurkers gonna be in here, is he going to spot it in time? No, he's not gonna go for this one. He's actually gonna give himself time to get spotted, there's a Lurker here. This might actually not be the very best. He's gonna go for the tech buildings? Yes, sir, Bob, he's gonna go for the tech buildings. He's going to go for the one tech building, that doesn't matter shit. He's gonna go for the Queen's Nest. Of all things, now going to finally direct his attention to the final man, but giving time for the Lurkers to burrow here. Now the final man is dead. And I'm going to go for the spawning pool as well, but he lost valuable time. Vic, however, has only got that wall Lurker is actually going to let this happen. But he's got a large force camping out here. His entire army is here. What is he going to do with it? Now going to retreat his drones, lost his spawning pool, and is the final amount. That's going to cost him. Now the extract is going to go down as well. Only one lurker actually here to defend. Two more lurkers actually retreating. Uh, yeah, so the final mine are already being reproduced. And the spawning pool as well. And now, most of these units are going to get taken down by some zerglings. By some crack upgraded zerglings. There we go. So two more here. And now, finally, Janon's going to take this time to actually expand, well, to actually move out and take care of these lurkers. Not well, probably knows this that there's something big here happening as well. Here we go. This drone, by the way, actually build an expansion there. So, an offensive expansion by victory here. 
These lurkers are going to stand their ground, going to force Jane on to actually force the scat to waste the scat, even though he's got the size vessel, which was rather silly. So Jane are really edgy, trying to break out before it's too late, before the Zerg gets to hive tech and absolutely completely tramples him. Because there we go, the file amount actually consumed wasn't researched yet. So there we go, we've got some locusts morphing inside the base here now, the spawning pool. We've got actually got two spawning pools right now. Two spawning pools from Victory, just to make sure that he has one. <laughs> so we have some defilers, they have no skills as of yet, they only have Dark Swarm. There we go, so very slow trek across this map, finally being able to kill the five or six locusts that were here. That really took a very long time, just relying on these tanks and nothing else, but there's a very large force here now that's going to be able to flank him as soon as Janon actually attacks the Zerg's main here. More forces incoming. There we go, Consume is researched, and Plague's following suit, and with that, with Consume, now comes all, all of these, oh god, move command, that was very good, Burr, there's a Lurkers, and now a flank coming in from the other side, Dark Swarm coming in, and this is going to be very bad, so very close call by Victory here, just, um... Getting his lurkers in there just in time, losing a lot of units there. Jaynon's losing the very, the bulk of his army. Now the Zion vessel also going to get taken down, but both of them actually got very big casualty, very nice amount of casualties here. But now, yeah, Jaynon's still ahead in supply, still already has a little bit of a force here. So ma victory actually lacking in the. Uh, in the macro party department right now. He's going to go for the Nidus Canal. Probably going to plan down. There we go. Plan it down here. No, wait. Nidus Canal is here, so it's connection to his two expansions. There we go. Let's see what's going to happen here. Now, Jadon actually moving, going to kill this defenseless little overlord. Plague actually gone down only on the science vessel. And these forces are still alive here. So, wow. Two defilers actually getting killed. And, and the Lurk is still here. Jade on now moving his little ball up to the choke of victory. And he's got these units still stranded here. He can probably take this out with no problem here. More, He's got a lot of units scattered across the map. Most of his supply is scattered. Now this ball is here. But this defiler is going to do something amazing, folks. First, there's going to be the swarm. First, the locust here. There's no siege tech yet, but he's got no units to attack in the swarm. He needs a very good plague here, but he's not doing that yet. He's gonna probably try to do it here now. The filer's not got any, any health. Well, any energy either. Now the siege is going to go up very far away from the main, being able to attack though again. Oh God! No, absolutely no protection from these locusts. All these locusts are gonna get killed without even doing any damage whatsoever. That could have been if he would have burrowed those with dark swarm, but he couldn't reach. More dark swarm here. Water lurkers completely exposed. This is looking very bad for me for victory. Very bad indeed. What's he going to do? There's a lot of marines here. Where is his army? He's got only 100 supply against Jane Owls, 140. But not doing a lot with it. A lot of the swarms here scaring Jane on off. There's no forces in that, which... There we go, we have the Otolus Cavern, however. We have the Otolus Cavern. We don't have any Otolus yet. The speed's being researched now. Don't have any macro whatsoever going in. Very strange indeed now. Oh! Victory actually supply blocked himself. Now the Terran Ball trying to move up. What is he going to do? He's still camping out there. Very jittery. He's got the yips, folks. He's got the yips. Doesn't want to move in just yet. There we go. We've got a nice play going. Catching the tank in some of the Marines. Not the best play that it could have been. Now losing the Defiler again. Here come the first Ultralisks. Not Carap is upgraded yet, but the speed is almost done. Medics. Wasting their energy on the plagued marines here. There we go, another Nidus Canal morphing. So yeah, Janon actually wasting his opportunity here, just letting Victory, because Victory is under no threat whatsoever. Now the Spire going down as well, trying to maybe clear out some of these science vessels. Not a lot of science vessels here. Um, one here, two more at the base. 
Jano needs to move up his form.